Hello everyone, this is Zakra here, and today I'm going to be presenting a new money-making method found in the Crimson Isles, which I kind of just stumbled upon while grinding for my Flare Bestiary, um, and this is going to be killing Cinder Bat. Now, I know lots of people that actually killed these guys and looked into it, They, th you make ever-burning flames with them, so this is what you're making, which people say that these do not sell, but that is completely wrong which is kind of not a little bit true at the same time because they don't sell fast but they do sell which i am like the top six in the leaderboard and i have sold like over 10 of these things so i've made quite a bit of money off of this i probably made like 450 mil and um no one really grinds this as a actual money making method but i actually tested this out for many hours now before we get started with this method i'm going to be showing you guys the coordinates of where to find because there there is main coordinates that they always spawn in and um, you actually don't want to lobby swap for this uh, I used to lobby swap for it and then I realized that they actually uh, whenever you kill it in one area it respawns in another so you could just like continue swapping between them so like for example over here is one of the coordinates so let me just put a coordinate here so you guys can see the numbers and as you can see there's two bats sitting right here so let me just kill these guys and they should spawn in the next area as soon as you enter the magma boss room if you come to the right over here they're also going to be spawning here on the top right here on the ceiling so here's the coordinate and if you just follow along a little bit over here as you can see there's another bat just flying around and um let me just put the coordinates to this one as well so basically this method is going to be killing these bats while going between these areas and it's just going back and forth between them and killing these bats now for the setup you're going to be using to maximize your money per hour you're going to want to have a magic line setup which for me i have have renowned sorrow with a renowned precursor eye. Uh, I have a rift necklace with molten cloak and uh, this should be there we go molten bracelet. I just uh, I was fishing earlier so I have a gauntlet and in the middle you're gonna want a implosion belt for extra damage and how this setup works um, you want to you want to make sure that you take out your pocket espresso because this will make your damage inconsistent because how you're gonna want to do this is um, the only way to kill efficiently with Daedalus Axe is to actually make it so, uh, let me just show an example here. I'm gonna hit this bat four times. One, two, three, four. And then I swap to Daedalus Axe and I crouch once. Uh, okay, I don't know why it's not uh, working properly. But, um, if you have it set up properly, the bat should have exactly 25,000 or below HP left and it makes it so you just have to crouch once with the Daedalus Axe and kill it so you have the full effect of the magic bar. There we go. Alright, so I fixed it and um, it's because you just have to play around with your um, mana and your talismans. Sometimes you have to remove talismans, sometimes you have to add some and uh, play around with your tuning points and stuff until you get it until you get it right. But basically the idea is you want to be able to one tap with uh, the Daedalus Axe by doing uh, the crouch. I'm going to be grinding this for 5 minutes and to see how many bats I've killed. I'm going to be doing this with math because um, I I, I, I already know how much this makes all right i already know how much this makes i already grinded this for like over 10 hours so yeah enjoy the montage and um just before i start the montage i completely forgot to uh, change this into magic find and to also enrich all of my stuff to magic find as well all right back to grinding five minutes
all right my five minute timer just finished and um basically i'm gonna have to look back at the five minute recording because um technically i kind of lost count at the beginning because i'm counting the amount of times i'm hitting but then i also have to keep track of the numbers of bats i'm killing and it was kind of hard to keep up with both numbers being in my head so uh yeah i'm gonna go and look all right so after looking back at my five minute recording i've killed about 26 under bats within five minutes which which means 26 times 12 I'd get around 312 kills an hour which is honestly on the lower side because I was able to get around 360 whenever I was grinding uh, not too long ago but with this test I'm still gonna use 312 and as you can see on the wiki it says that it is a 1% drop chance so if you take 1% drop chance by, by the fact that you have looting on your Hyperion which I have looting 5, so that gives me an extra 75% looting uh, bonus. So that means that it is now a 1.75% chance, or not, well, yeah, a 1.75. And then you multiply this by uh, Magic Fine, which, if you look here, my Magic Fine is 279, technically 280, and there's no bestiary for Cinder Bats, so it's 280. So, so 280, which means 3.8. Eight. That means that my chance of actually obtaining a flame from one of these cinder bats is 3.65%. So a 6%. A 6.65% chance is actually pretty good. Now, if you do 312 kills an hour divided by 100, this represents 1% of your total kill. And then multiply this by the 6.65% chance of dropping it, you should be getting about 12.75 an hour. Now, if you look at the ever burning flames, uh, it requires 16. So you are able to craft 1.3 of them an hour now to calculate the profits this would be an hour you would have to do uh, you would have to minus the uh, cost of this so so it's about 13 million for the cost of the material so 75 mil minus 13 mil so you're making 62 million coins profit per multiply by 1.3 you are making 80 million coins an hour technically from doing this method and this method does not need a magic find setup if you were to use a mage setup like uh, uh, Aurora it still works you if you look at the magic find right now you'd have way less like 180 magic find so you'll be getting less flames but you can compensate by killing more an hour which is way more sweaty but you can technically just kill them faster and it kind of like compensates for not having magic find but having a magic find setup does make it way better in a way because you're going to be making about 30 percent more profit uh, versus just using a hype though in some cases i can understand uh, if you don't have a magic find setup so you could also try um doing that math equation i just did earlier by calculating how many kills you have with a mage setup and then put in your magic find and stuff like that i was actually able to get 400 kills an hour with a aurora uh, with my aurora setup so if you were to do that that would be a so yeah i just calculated right here assuming that you were able to sweat it and get 400 kills an hour which is like 90 more kills than what i got with the magic find setup you'd be able to get 19.6 an hour which is literally like one flame less than magic find setup so like the magic find setup is honestly like just a tad bit more whichever setup you want to use for this is completely up to you i did not sell them whenever they were 75 million because they're actually kind of up right now they're usually about 50 mil an hour now they're like 80 mil an hour um prices might even go down after this video so i'd kind of like uh check for that you can use the you can simply calculate how much it's currently making by using the equations i used in this video and then using the current prices and just replace the current prices with these prices and um, you'll be able to see how much I'd be making with the current prices at any time by just calculating it so yeah I would not use this as a main money making method due to the fact that this does sell pretty slowly it sells about two times a day average 
though there was a day I sold like five of them in a day but do keep in mind that they are kind of slow to sell so you can't just grind it like 10 hours a day for seven days straight and just sell this stuff it does take time so um I would grind another money making method or grind skyblock xp while I'd wait for it to sell that is all for today's video hopefully you guys enjoy and see you guys next time see ya